guys and girls and welcome back if you are new here don't forget to subscribe it's free it's down there and i upload every single week today i'm back with a full face using only mac products got me bag full of stuff <laughs> gonna start off with mac show cream oh my days i love this product like i've used it for absolute years this is the original one i really want to try the golden lights one as well and uh, because i've not tried that yet but i really want to try it anyways we're going to start off with a bit of this oh my god i think i just got it in my eyebrows as you can obviously tell i've done my eyebrows and prepped my eyelids already off a of camera i use the mac select concealer to prep my eyelids i don't really know what look i'm going for maybe orange because i've got a palette and it's got orange in it and i'm wearing orange so maybe orange <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but i am going to move on to foundation right now now this used to be a love of mine i'm going to go in with c5 which is this one here this is mac face and body for those of you who are not familiar with it um it is a water based foundation but you definitely can build this up using this little nyx brush and i've been using it with foundations and it's been working up a treat so this foundation is really great for those of you who want to have a little bit of coverage but you still want your natural skin to show through so if you have freckles for example this could really work out well for you some of you guys may have seen on my instagram i went to mac carnaby street and i made my own palette now this is what it looks like i have used a few of the colors since we picked six eyeshadows two cream sheens i want to say don't hate me if I got that wrong but basically like two cream cheek products and then two blushes but I went for this um, shade here which is actually like a MAC Pro color for contouring I'm gonna use this shade here to do a little bit of cream contouring gonna swirl it in there oh oh my god it fell out oh it's got some crack on it now got like this they are completely even I mean only a hater would disagree <laughs> I'm joking they are wonky AF it's fine though because when you blend it out it really doesn't make that difference because it's still going to be going in that area regardless so it's all good in the hood so i'm going to go down underneath my bottom lip so let's start blending this out i'm using a nyx brush for this just something really small that i can just work in those areas i've never used these cream color bases to contour with ever before so this is quite interesting this is blending out nicely though i'm gonna use their correct duo if it would undo i'm gonna go with the pink side right now just to help get rid of those under eye bags a little bit um because i definitely have some of those as always so i'm gonna use my finger just to blend that product out so i can put my concealer on top of it so let's cover up this is such a popular concealer to be fair a lot of people do use it for prepping their eyelids which is what i done um, before coming on camera i'm just going to get a little bit and just run it along also guys while you're watching this video i would absolutely appreciate it if you clicked the notification bell because oh my gosh let me tell you the amount of people which have been telling me my video hasn't been in their sub box is so disheartening you think of how much effort and hours you put into a video and you know if someone doesn't want to watch it that's absolutely fine but you at least want it to be put into someone's sub boxes you know why do you have to do all these freaking steps like what the hell youtube sort it out please um but yeah just so you don't miss an upload um please click the bell because it would mean the absolute world i'm using my finger once again because it's giving such a lovely result so i'm happy with that i also need to put a little bit of concealer onto my spots on my chin to help cover those recently i've been changing up my skincare a little bit and i've been using a lot of la roche posay um are you guys familiar with their products i like, have you used them before i remember years ago when i first ever got into mac like it was one of the first sort of like high-endish brands that i you know went for the first ever brand i bought let's say expensive makeup from was urban decay and then it was mac so urban decay was actually before mac with me which is crazy because mac's been around for such a long time i remember i had some christmas money and i went to mac and i got some foundation i got matched up and then i ended up falling in love with it i was like oh my god this foundation is amazing i use mac studio fix for absolute years throughout my whole entire college life it was mac studio fix like just using that nyx brush now to help blend all of that out as well speaking of buy mac though i need to go and get some more of this this is mac studio fix and it's broken and look how much i've worn down like i rinse this product so much this is a studio fix powder if i have breakouts or i need a little bit more coverage then i use this to set 
my concealer and I definitely need another one. So I'm just setting this in the areas that I don't want there to be any shine. I'm going to go back to the face but for now I'm going to use this powder. This is the Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eyes for when I do my eyeshadow and stuff in case there is any fallout. I'm not going to lie, I don't like this product. Um, I don't reach for it hardly ever. Of course I'm going to use it for the purpose of the video. I looked at my collection, I was like, do you know what? Let's use this today because it's just been sitting there otherwise. I don't really like to use this product for baking if I'm honest. Um, but I'm going to try and use it in that sort of method in case my eyeshadow does drop. I'm also going to pop some on my chinny chin chin <laughs> oh god i need to stop honestly just gonna pop some along my jawline this is an area i do like to bake if i am going for a full look which i'm going for today okay i think i'm gonna go in with the orange shade that i picked out for my palette might as well i mean it's not like i've got enough orange on <laughs> you guys might want to grab sunglasses it's getting a bit hot in here no not as funny when you're by yourself. Ooh, baby, that is bright. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to bring it quite far out as well. Of course, I will be um, clearing all this area up at some point. But for right now, I'm just adding that colour in the background there. Then I'm going to go in with that brown shade. We're going to build up that socket. And I'm going to take my time with this because I don't want it to be quite deep. And then I will go back with the orange shade. And then I'm going to intensify it just to kind of build it up because I do want the orange to be a main focus. I don't want it just to be a background colour, you know. Right, so I'm going to cut this first part out. So I'm going to probably go a little bit quiet as it takes a little bit of concentration. Then I'm going to take nylon, which is this shade here from my palette. And then I'm going to set this concealer in place. And I'm going to pop this just on the outer corner of the eye. Taking it up a little bit. Oh, this is nice. This is a beautiful shade. I'm going to try and build up the colour a little bit on the outer corner. Getting some more of that orange and popping that right on the inner part here. Blending it back and forth into the nylon shade. Oh my god, it creates like a gorgeous purple when it blends into that. Then taking the black on a short shader brush. And I'm pressing that into the outer corner making it fade as if it is the eyeliner and then just thickening that line up as it gets towards the outer corner i'm going to try and come up the side with this brush just lightly try and shape that out a little bit i'm just buffing off the powder that is underneath this eye now then i'm going to add some eyeliner this eyeliner is the black brilliance um fluid eye pencil honestly this is actually a really nice eyeliner um i've used this many times i love eyeliners that are twisty like this rather than always having to have a sharpener like when you go away you've forgotten your sharpener it's one of the worst things ever just gonna run some along my waterline as well. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit so I can smudge it into the line that I have there. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh my god, boy, sneeze. The bottom line is a guide, and then I'm gonna smudge that up. Try to feather it out a little bit, and then bring it back in. I'm gonna smoke out this bottom lash. Then I'm taking the pink underneath. So when I had my nails done the other day, and I end up going really short. I just thought it's been a while since I had short nails. Plus when they grow out, um, I've been using SNS by the way, because I remember ages ago I spoke about how acrylics are ruining my nails. I've been using SNS. Whatever is left on the orange, I'm gonna use to smoke out that bottom lash line. Is I'm actually gonna take some nylon and I'm just gonna pop a little bit right in the corner of my inner tear duct. I know I was literally just talking to you about nails and stuff, but yeah, they end up growing out really fast. Um, and I'm really liking having SNS nails because when these tips then grow off, it's gonna be my real nails and they're gonna be so much more healthier. Clearly I'm feeling some colorful vibes recently because I went and bought a huge oversized orange hoodie because I had this vision of this oversized orange hoodie with like a denim, light denim jacket. And when I tried it on, I was like, yes, you, envisioned this correctly i'm gonna add on some eyelashes now to be completely honest with you i don't really use mac eyelashes ones that i have been really loving recently are by backstage lashes and they are in the style girls night out so i'm gonna do the other eye and then pop these on so i'll see you in two so the eyelashes are on and i'm gonna let them get a little bit tacky before i go ahead and put mascara on them so we're gonna move on to the rest of the face yes Right, I'm going to go back to that palette that I made and I'm going to take this contour shade here. Of course, I still have powder, 
baking so whenever you put the contour on it's always going to look a little bit more harsh and you know what i think i might be eating my words saying i don't like that powder maybe i didn't give it a fair chance you know i think i might have to try it again because i quite like the way it looks on my under eye is anybody watching celebs go dating here in the uk if you are, tell me who your favourite person is. Personally, I like um, London Hughes. She is right up my street. I love people like that who just don't give a shit and all about having fun, embracing life. She's the sort of girl I could imagine being really good friends with. Temple time? Temple time? T -t -t Temple time? What am I even talking about? Honestly though, can you guys remember a time before contouring? Like, what did we do? Like, I remember I used to put blush on and bronzer, but like... Just imagine your facial features just never look that defined. Buffing off that powder right now. Anyways, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun just to help, you know, bronze up my life. Oh my God, Spice Girls, apparently, I don't know if this is definitely confirmed, are doing a reunion tour. If I could go to that, I think I literally would be in my element. I'd feel like a kid again. I loved the Spice Girls when I was younger. So for my palette, I ended up picking up this sort of orangey colour. I just felt it complement whatever eye look I decide to do with these eyeshadows. So I'm going to use this. You know when you're on holiday and you get those glowing cheeks? That's what this colour reminds me of. I really like it. I knew I got foundation in my hair. Basically, when I had it on my thumb, I flipped my hair back and I totally forgot about it. And now I've got freaking foundation in my hair. Oh, it's so annoying. So this is Max Hyper Real Glow. And all of my days, right? I tried this out for the first time yesterday. And everywhere I kept going, people were complimenting my highlighter. Girls are coming up to me, asking me what highlighter I had on. Like, it was insane. This was the first day I ever tried it was yesterday. And I'm in love with it. So what I used was this color. And then I added a bit of, no, was it this one? This one. And I feel like this shade here is going to be perfect for when you want that kind of like overall bronze look Like when you're on holiday or of course like deeper skin tones So they did have a, another option of this which was a lighter one But I decided to go for like the golden one You can see the colours perfectly there And oh, wait till you just see it So I'm going to go for the middle shade I'm using a Zoeva 134 I am so obsessed with this it's beautiful like well done mac apart from soft and gentle i've never been wowed by their other highlighters until this has come into my life i don't know if it's actually out yet or not i have no idea but if it is i will link it in the down bar for you guys if it isn't then i'm really really sorry that i'm like teasing you with this like uh, i'm sorry <laughs> don't touch me i'm gonna be taking the mac i think this is the volumizing something I don't really know, but this is a pretty good mascara, you know. I've used this so many times. I probably should get a new one, but I'm being cheap and trying to use MAC products I already have and then some recent new ones, you know. <laughs> I can't go out and buy a whole new MAC makeup because I'm not rich. I'm going to pop some onto my bottom eyelashes first of all. Just a small amount onto the top eyelashes. I really don't want to coat these eyelashes too much because they are brand new. Here are all my MAC lipsticks. They are dusty AF. <laughs> Um, you don't realise, unless you leave things out, how dusty they actually get. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a tramp. I don't really know what lip I'm going to go for. I'm obviously thinking Velvet Teddy because it's a classic. Um, but then I kind of want to go a little bit like kind of sexy and peach stock. Oh my god, I don't know. We'll put that there for now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix Velvet Teddy and peach stock together. I love peach stock because it really is one of those lipsticks that you can wear underneath a gloss. and looks gorgeous and really nude. Um, or you can totally... Um, you know, put it in the centre of a lipstick, which is what I'm going to do now. I have Velvet Teddy here. Oh my gosh, right, I remember once I was clubbing with my stepsister and um, I was on the dance floor and I bought out my MAC lipstick and I started putting it on, but then as I've gone to put it in the bag, I've missed the bag and dropped it on the floor in the dance floor. And at these times I was like, hell no, I'm going in for my lipstick. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm literally crouching down, trying to find this MAC lipstick on the floor. And my stepsister's like, I got lipstick on ID. Yeah, my stepsister was like, Sabrina, what the hell are you doing? I was like, I'm trying to find a matte lipstick. They're 15 pounds. But I don't know how much they are now, actually. It's been a while since I bought one. Um, but when they dropped on the floor, it's 15 pounds. <laughs> don't know why I'm telling you guys that, but it's just a funny story. Peach stock right in the centre. Personally, I think this lip combo with the eyes looks so sick and I am feeling it. Um, but I thought, you know what, just to give you guys another option, I'm gonna use one of their new lip products. This is the Dazzle Glass in Baby Spark that has little flecks in there. Why not amp it up a little bit more, Sabrina? <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, no. We have reached the end, and I have to say, I'm dead impressed with how everything come out. I'm really happy with this makeup. I just am so happy with how this come out. I hope you guys love it as well. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up for more videos like this, and stay connected with me on my social medias um, because I love interacting with you guys and doing Instagram lives and stuff like this. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.